free to one of you guys. Uh, talk about what that last minute of the first half, you know, the, I think there was a diving save for an offensive rebound, I mean, a defensive rebound after they missed that led to your layup, and then uh, just the sequence where Josh ended the, the half with that, that dunk. What, I, I know you still had another half to go, but what did that, what did that last sequence did for you? I felt like it was a huge momentum builder. Uh, E-Man sparked it. I think he had about three rebounds in a row, saved the ball, came back in, kept the ball alive. I took the three, Nebo got the dunk, and that was, I mean, the energy that he brought at that moment was uh, sensational. How much did shift into that three-quarter press? <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> How much did shift into that three-quarter length press kind of uh help build some momentum, get some energy going, and, and kind of just change things up to start that little bit of a run? Uh, it's, it's there to slow them down. So uh, that helped us a lot, in my opinion. To kill. We just try to key in on shooters and not let them get easy shots, honestly. Uh, but as far as that, the three-quarters press, just it just kept them guessing. Wendell, uh, it's kind of ironic, don't you think, that uh, it was kind of a close game because y'all struggled at the free throw line. And then you nail it down with, uh, I think it was eight, eight, maybe eight three throws. I don't think you had six of those. So what changed? Uh, uh, honestly, I don't know. I think it's just focus level, um, just having the attention to be able to get fouled and and uh, and get to the bonus. You know, the more you keep shooting, the more they're going to go in. So uh, that that helped. Josh, first, if I could get both of you guys to answer, just being senior day. You guys combined for 45 points and 12 rebounds. What does this mean to you to have such a huge day, potentially your final game in this building? Uh, <clears throat> it, was a, it was a special night, especially um, me and Chuck being able to close it off, close out our um, careers here at home the right way. This is definitely just, um, a happy moment for both of us about to come out with the win in our last game at home. Yeah, I said to the same. It was amazing uh, to get the win. It's the, that was the biggest thing is get the win, you know, leave here, play our last home game here as a, as a senior, you know, it's, it's always amazing just to get the win. And the stats and the, that's all second. Chuck, how nice was it to have Quentin back in the lineup, obviously, and the, what was going through your mind when he, he threw that dunk down? Have y'all seen him do that kind of playing practice? Oh, yeah, I think y'all seen it too. He do it in games. I mean, he's a sensational athlete, like, but having him back, having him back this game was a huge difference. You know, he brings a lot of energy and defensively, puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Offensively, you know, it just helps us keep the floor spread, keep everybody honest. You think you threw that away when you first threw it? Uh, when I threw it, I thought I threw it too high, but I had I had hope that he that he could still go up and get it because I mean I seen him jump that high plenty of times. We've seen we've seen quite a few. Highlight dunks from him. Was that was that number one from him this year? I think that was number one. I think that was number one. What about you? I think it was, it was number one. Have you heard Reed any louder this year? No, that was loudest, honestly. Yeah, I know you guys have been asked this throughout the year, but one, one last time, I guess. Um, how do you explain and, and how? I don't I don't know what's the word is amazed. Are you that you know the team y'all were? in mid-January and then to, to close the way y'all have, it's just been such a remarkable rebound, which thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, put the work in, and you know, you focus enough, and you once you figure it out and you get rolling, you know, you just gotta keep building on it. So, you know, I don't think our grind is ever lied to us, we're grinding every day. So, it's great. Nico, from, from your perspective, how has this team changed, you know, since league play started and you guys were able to get 10 wins out of here? Um, i say uh, we just changed by just kind of buying into what the coaches wanted us to do and just kind of staying together as a unit. Nobody um, split when we struggled. We all just um, stayed together and we just kept listening to the coaches and what they um, wanted us to do. And the, coach, the coaching staff never gave up, gave up on us and we just <coughs> kept figuring out ways to, um, to win. And we just stayed together, really. Josh, you feel like you just had them overmatched inside of them? Uh, I just try to do my best um, to help the team win. I just try to do my job um, every night. Man, and just, Josh a killer. Tell him, Josh. <laughs> Tell him. I just Can't try to do my you. job. I just try to do my job and help the team win.
Shaggy, you Mason put up 30 for him for Arkansas. How mindful were you? You kind of answered a couple of his three balls with your own three balls. How mindful were you of trying to keep your team team ahead when, when he got hot like that? Uh, just gotta find them, and uh, when they when, when when they execute and hit one, we gotta come back down and answer some way, and then uh, focus on getting the stop the next time down. Chuck, when you look back on this game with all the different stat categories that you've got for your season high, what moment sticks out to you the most about tonight, at least initially? Uh, into the first half, I mean that was that was a, that was amazing boost. I feel like uh, that's like the most energy I ever seen like as far as like my teammates I was like man and then from the, the crowd in the arena it, it was you know it was a real surreal moment. Chuck you you drew a charge on Mason Jones there to foul him out how big of a play was that for you guys? Uh, I, I, pretty, I, in my opinion pretty big you know he, as you see he had 30 uh, it just took another player off the floor that can make threes so uh, the focus was on number one from there from there on. How many, how many charges do you have? Did you tell they were getting frustrated out there? Uh, I think we make people play bad and make them frustrated. So uh, I don't think we look. I don't think we look for it, but, but we know what's happening. I think you drew four charges today. What does that mean to you? Is that a season high for you individually? Yeah. Yeah. It is. That's the record. Nah, I'm the one off. You get Oh yeah, potentially yeah. You gonna need a second sock to right now? <laughs> Probably. I, I think I've, that's 28 pairs of socks. You guys so. were picked to finish 12th in the preseason poll, and you guys finished 10 and 8 in league play. And at worst, seventh, you guys could finish sixth in and on this last game. But what do you think you guys proved this season when a lot of people may have discounted you? Uh, I think we just proved that it's not um, as much about what the people say. It's about um, what you do behind closed doors. It's just about how together you are as a team. Uh, it doesn't matter if the people pick you to win be first or last. It just depends on what you do in between the lines when nobody's watching you. That would kind of dictate how things turn out. So I, I get kind of late. You guys for 16 turnovers. Aren't you only had like 24 the last four games combined? They only had five the last game. What did you guys do to turn them over like that? Uh, I think our uh, three quarters court the press, honestly, it just speeds people up. It makes you make decisions on the fly, and uh, it makes you play with a late, with a late, with, with less time than you want to play with. So I guess it kind of just sped them up a little bit. How do you, how do you think that impacted the game? Oh, greatly. I mean, turn, turn over the ball, you're able to get an extra shot, you know, able to execute and you know, put up a look, get transition points. Josh, you might have answered this already, sir. I'm talking about some Arkansas so guys. You kind of had your way inside. You know, Eric Musselman said they didn't have anybody that could handle you. Um, what was it like? Kind of like that. Uh, I just try to go out there and do my job, do what I can to help my team win, and that's my job to go out there and just give them my best, and I just you know do what I could. I know you guys won the game, and Mason scored thirty. I think that's seven, nine times this year, seven times in the last twelve games. What what did you guys think of him preparing for him and seeing him today? Uh, yeah, I think that's nine, and uh. He's a very, very talented player. You know, he was knocking down threes. He was getting open quite a few times. But, uh, I felt like our preparation was good. You know, we really practiced on keeping our hand over his, his head and trying to prevent him from shooting threes. Uh, I think our, our rebounding just kind of just overwhelmed him. So. And, and he was on the bench when you guys made that run at the end of the half. How key do you think that was? You guys um, got him in foul trouble. I mean, getting him in foul trouble is always good. You want, you want more fouls. For all your part, but uh, I felt like that run was going to come. I feel like our energy level was, was there. So, anything else? All right, guys. Thanks. Thank you.